Hi, today's lesson is about proportions, and proportions uh, are still within the uh, ratio unit. What we're doing with proportions is we're comparing two fraction ratios, okay, where one of the ratios is incomplete, and then there are certain things that we do to find out what that missing number is, okay? Now, let's take a look at what a proportion is as far as a definition. A comparison of two ratios is used to find one of the four numbers. Okay? All right, so let's take a uh, problem here. Let's say I went out into my yard, I picked 30 oranges, I juice them, and then that created five cups of orange juice from those 30 oranges, okay? Then if we go over here, here's our proportion question. How many cups of OJ can be squeezed from 90 oranges that are about the same size as uh, these? That is a proportion question, okay? Now what we're gonna have to do is set up a proportion like this. 30 oranges is going to make 5 cups of OJ. How many cups of OJ, now this is our unknown, that's our X, will come from 90 oranges. Notice I have the oranges both on top and the cups of OJ both on the bottom. And we kind of say that 30 makes 5, how many will 90 make? Okay. Now, right over here are the categories of items that are compared. Oranges to cups of OJ. And it's in the same order on both sides. Oranges on top, cups of OJ. Oranges on top, cups of OJ. Now, these are both ratios that we're comparing with an equal sign. So we're saying the oranges are about the same size and they're going to make cups of OJ in about the, the same way. Um, okay, and then we make sure we have that E equal sign between them. Now what, what we can say is, let's go, go back up here. How does 30 become 5? Well, we divide by 6, right? So for every 6 oranges, we get 5 cups. So then we just divide 90 by, by 6, okay? So now we go down to the computation here. Um, 30 divided by 6 is 5. And then we do the same thing on the uh, other side. 90 divided by 6 is 15. So that says that if 30 oranges can make 5 cups, then 90 oranges can make 15 cups. Okay? All right. Let's go to our next uh, problem here. Let's say I have a big pro property and I have eight acres of apple trees and there are 1,000 trees in the eight acres. Now let's say I buy a piece of land uh, next to what I have now. It's a pretty big piece and I, there's going to be 20 acres that I'm going to plant the same ratio of trees per acre. So we want to know how many trees are going to fit on those 20 acres if it's the same ratio that when, when we plant 1,000 on 8 acres. Okay. Now, there are two categories here, acres, which we'll use as a cap, capital A, and trees as a capital T. So let's see if we can set this up. Okay. How's this? Eight acres produces 1,000 trees. 
20 acres should produce an, un an unknown number of trees. Now we can do that another way. We can also say 8 acres produces 1,000 trees. 20 acres will produce how many trees? Okay. Okay. Now in this problem, we have three numbers. 8 acres, 20 acres, and 1,000 trees. So we're missing one number, how many trees? Now, how many we put as a variable x, and then the trees is t or, or tr. So then we would come up with a proportion equation like this. 8 acres produces 1,000 trees, 20 acres produces x number of trees. Okay. Then to solve it, let, let's say we first write it like this. To solve it, we're going to do what's called cross multiply, okay? Where we cross multiply here. It's a little trick that we can do only when we have two fractions and an equal sign there with a proportion problem. This is not cross cancel this is cross mul multiply so we're going to get 8 times x is equal to 20 times a thousand which is 8x equals 20,000 now to get this x by itself we're going to have to divide both sides by 8 and we know 8 divided by 8 is 1 1 times x is x so then we're going to take 20,000 divided by 8. And then x is going to be equal to 2,500 trees. Okay? Now, let's say that instead of having acres and acres up and down, we do acres 8 and acres 20 going across. So the number of trees that those acres produce is always on the uh, bottom. Will we get the same answer? So we cross multiply 8 over 1,000 equals 20 over x. We get 8x is equal to 20 times 1,000. And so that's 8x equals 20,000. We divide by 8 on both sides, and we get x equals 2,500 trees. Okay. So if we go back to our original problem, let's see if this makes sense. 8 acres produces 1,000 trees. 20 acres produces 2,500 trees. Okay. Now, is 20 a little more than double of 8? Yeah. Is 2,500 a little more double than, a little more than double of 1,000? Yes. So our answer makes sense. So that's how proportion problems uh, work. Okay?